greetings from the eccentric man. Uh, feeling a bit under the weather at the moment. Uh, my daughter's passed me something. So it's a cough, a snivel, grotty voice and uh, aching bones. But there we go. So today, I uh, wasn't able to get out to get a game on Sunday, which was a bit of a shame. Uh, a bit poorly. And then Monday night, didn't feel uh, up to it either. So I thought I'd do an update of what's going on. And I've got a rather special unboxing. So uh, we'll get on to that from there. Suffice to say, is there is a kickstart that's just started. It's already hit its uh, goal, and it's now looking towards the stretch goals. Um, I'll go through it. It's uh, something interesting and something that could be quite useful. So let's have a look and see what I've been doing over the last month. A uh, bit of work from April. So let's have a quick close-up. So, what have we got? Well, what we've got here is the landing party from uh, the Warlord Games. Uh, it's a British naval section. And uh, therefore my dad's army game. You can probably see there that I've just got myself a truck. The J. Jones, a family butcher. Um, all I've got to do now is work on the terrain. I I've got some uh, plans in foot. They're just waiting on a couple of manufacturers to let me know what's going on. So we've got um, our naval ratings. and I'll, I don't know if I've explained what I've got in my mind, but I'll, I'll do that. So what else have we been working on? Well, part of the scenario relates around a U-boat crew. And this is my U-boat crew. And uh, I've painted them up. Uh, a bit of a mix from the Kriegsmarine. The Kriegsmarine's a bit late. You can see that there's at least two men with Panzerfausts. So they'll be... Um, Oh, a bit of shakes there. So they'll be not in the, the squad, so it'll be a squad of eight men. Um, but we'll have the uh, U-boat officer there with his submachine gun. Um, interesting with the uniforms. Uh, varied so much. So uh, with the Kriegsmarine box as well. So I've got two uh, two troopers in the British denim uh, jackets. Those are the ones on the, uh, the, the officer and the guy behind him. And then you've got the grey leather... Uh, U-boat crew uniform, so I've got a few for those, and there are a couple with the uh, Navy working party uh, uniform, so I've gone for those, gone for those as well. So a little bit of a mix, uh, and that'll be there. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So, yeah, the scenario. What I'm looking at, uh, I've got an order from Artisan some early Falsham Jaegers. I've got the DSO. Glider, so I shall be putting them, painting that up. So the idea is to have like a Wilmington on sea, the glider lands at the back of the table, the paratroopers, the Falsham Jaegers, have got to join up with uh, some nuns, and I've got the two nuns painted up with guns uh, from the Warlord spy box. I've got a got a few um, got a few of the um, civilian set that I've painted up. So there's a police officer, there's the air wardens, and a few things like that. And then infantry-wise, I've got a section of British um, expeditionary force, uh, sort of early war, 1940. I've got a unit of those that'll be on the board somewhere. I've got the Dad's Army, the Warlord Dad's Army uh, section. So they're painted up now. They'll be on the board. And I've got, the, I've got a local defence volunteers, not in uniform, painted up. Uh, they were from the Footsaw miniature range. And then I've got a unit of land girls. What I will do is I'll try at the end, I'll put a put a little bit of it, of all the, the Dad's Army Operation Sea Lion stuff that I've got painted up. I'll put that down. The only thing I haven't decided on really is how I'm going to do all the bases. So it's, at the moment they're just based rough as to where I'm going to go. So that's, that's sort of the British. Uh, and they're going to be scattered around the board. So when I, I think it'll be sort of hidden deployment of those, uh, and then when the Falsham Jaegers and their nuns get nearby, then there'll be a random activation of a particular unit. Uh, things are things are fluid as it is, because whether it's going to be a, a participation game, whether it's going to be a demo game, whether it's just going to be a bolt action game, I'm not quite sure. So we'll see how that goes. So yep. So to help you along those lines, I've got the. Uh, Got the Falcon Yankees coming along. Uh, so, yep, quite pleased with Jones the Butcher's uh, vehicle off of eBay, as you do. 
Um, and again, the U-boat crew, they'll uh, they'll come up nice uh, and they'll fit in well with the Falcon Jaegers. So what else has been on the, uh, the, the the table? Well, you've probably saw my uh, early April, I put up the the first video on what a tanker, how to play, which uh, which I was really pleased with. Uh, and obviously getting Nick the next night to play at our local store and take us all through it was uh, really good. So I've been playing what a tanker, had a game with my daughter, two daughters and uh, one of their boyfriends. That was good fun. I think they won another game now. Um, but what else will we be done? Well, let's pan across. And what we've got is our 15 mil Tank Wars. And also, what are tanker tanks? Uh, John from Stronoak Painting and myself, well, we've um, we've gone down the route of 15 mil for our tank wars. Because it was cheap and you can do it pretty quickly. So we went for it. And we've gone theatre selection and mine is war in France. So John's uh, got the French and he's busily painting it up. I think I'm going to have to go for um, a British 1940 uh, BEF tank war army to go against this. Just to give me tanks to play water tanker as well. So let's have a look. What have we got here? We've got a uh, a unit of three Panzer 38Ts. Um, one of those will be the command tank, so they'll get uh, a radio net. So they'll get a plus one to their leadership bonus. Um, well, probably plus two now, isn't it? Because of the radio net. And then I've got a Panzer three to give me some uh, some hard hitting. Well, Panzer three early version. Uh, short 37mm gun, light anti-tank. Uh, and then we've got two Panzer twos with the uh, auto cannons, and then the old 222. Two, two. Uh, again, auto cannon. Back row, we've got two trucks. I'm going to put together a couple of infantry sections. Uh, I got those from uh, John, he had some kicking about. So um, they'll be uh, joining this at s s soon. And then I've got the two Panzer Jaeger ones at the back. Uh, medium anti tank gun, just to give me a little bit of something. So. Uh, not very heavily armoured and open topped, but they do have a medium anti tank gun, so that's uh, that's a bonus. So what have we got else today? Well, something else that came through the post: Blood on the Aventine, Gangs of Rome. The starter set it did look very good, did look interesting, and the starter set looks like it's got some good stuff in it. So uh, went wild and got myself. Uh, Blood on the Avatine. I'll go through that in another video to see what we've got and if we can get a game going just to give a, a video demonstration. There is uh, there is already online uh, by the guys from Games of Rome uh, a video of uh, takes you through all the games so that's well worth a check out. So Games of Rome. So that's really what I've been working on. However, the key thing uh, what we're going to look at today is um, uh, the Fenris Games Kickstarter. And the Fenris Games Kickstarter, if you haven't seen it, it's called Rubble City. Uh, and it is resin, and it is ruins. Build your own ruins. Uh, and you get the, the blocks, and you can put them together in any which way you want. Uh, I've been following Ian at Fenris Games on the Twitters, uh, and it's looked pretty good. He took along some production samples to Salute. I wasn't able to get to Salute, uh, so... I contacted him on Twitter and asked if he had any left, and he said that he had. So I have par crossed his palm with silver, and uh, he has sent me a production pack. Uh, obviously the Kickstarter is only probably in its day three now, I think. Uh, so it's a little look ahead of, of what you're going to be getting for your basic pledge. So let's have a look at what we've got. What I've actually decided to do was to give the Rubble City Kickstarter a whole video to itself rather than uh, have to wade through the first 10 minutes of the video looking at what I'm doing and what's been going on in April I thought I'll, I'll give the Rubble City its own video uh, because it does deserve that so uh, look out for the next video which will be the unboxing of the Rubble City Kickstarter pre-production. So, hopefully you like this uh, update. Uh, there's going to be some battle reports hopefully next week. I might be able to get some footage of our tournament shrapnel that we're running on the 14th 
or is it 13th? 13th of September. September. May. God, I'm not with it. This is a bit poorly. So, yeah, 13th of May, the Sunday, uh, we'll be shrapnel, and I'll probably get, try and get some uh, video up and out of the people who are playing and some of the games and the tables. So, thanks very much for watching. Please give it a, a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe if you haven't. Share it with your friends. And until the next video, Rubble City. See you soon. Bye.